Ultimate Football, if you don't know what you're doing, you can get labeled as a bot and an NPC and your team likely won't throw you the ball, causing you to not have fun on the game. That's where people like me come in. I'm here to help anyone learning or trying to become better at Ultimate Football. Ultimate Football can be a very fun game when you learn how to play and I'll teach you guys all the secrets you need to go from a 20 overall noob to a 100 overall Hall of Fame player. Also, real quick before we get started, I just wanted to remind you guys that if you guys find this video helpful and like funny Roblox gameplay videos, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Also, I appreciate you guys clicking on this video, and for that, I'm going to give you guys the most recent code in the game. If you guys look on the screen right now, the code is there, spell it exactly like I have it, and you guys will get 20,000 free coins in Ultimate Football. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Quite possibly, one of the hardest things to learn about Roblox football, short for Roblox football, is having IQ, or basically just any type of intelligence. There are a lot of things about this game that require intellect, as this isn't as simple as throwing a football. So let's start with the basics of Ultimate Football. The game is a 6v6 game in regular public servers, and there is a park mode where you can participate in 4v4s, 3v3s, and even 2v2s, but for this video, we'll be talking about the best tips and tricks for regular gameplay, 6v6s. Having IQ means that you guys need to learn the basics of the game, which I advise going to the tutorial mode and actually reading what it says. It's pretty easy and it's nothing crazy hard to understand, and I promise you guys will get it. But I recommend definitely going through that tutorial before you guys watch the rest of this video. We will start with the easiest of the four main concepts in Ultimate Football and end with the hardest. So we will start with the kicking or special teams part of Ultimate Football. Kicking in UF, or Ultimate Football, is really easy and as of now, the only way to practice kicking is to go through the tutorial. The tutorial is really beginner and user friendly and I give the owner and his developers huge props on that as other games that rival this one don't do a good job of that. To kick in Ultimate Football, you have to click once to start the wheel and then click again to get the arrow at the center of the white arrows. The power one will always stay still, but you have to time the accuracy wheel. The white arrows actually move on the accuracy wheel, making it a lot harder to get your arrow into the white arrows. Huge advice here. Click slightly earlier than you think because the arrow actually lags back a bit, especially on accuracy, as you can see from the examples on screen. Up next is wide receiver. Being a receiver is an important job and can be the difference between a touchdown and an interception. To start learning how to time a football in this game, I suggest going to the park or trade hub and practicing your timing at the lob machines. Your timing is very important as missing a wide open pass will cause less trust between you and your quarterback and no one doesn't want to be thrown the ball. Now don't get me wrong, the timing won't be the same for every single pass and honestly being a receiver is a more demanding job than most would think. However, I'll probably go in depth on a more receiver specific video in the future. but. Just remember to keep practicing and if you have friends, practice with them in public servers or park mode. And honestly, I wouldn't care too much about your record as long as you guys are having fun, then continue doing and playing this game. Guys, quick intermission, we're about halfway through the video and if you guys want to know more about specific positions in Ultimate Football and the best tips like I mentioned before, get this video to 200 likes and I'll make it happen, I promise. All right. Next up is quarterback, and you're probably wondering how quarterback isn't the hardest, but just trust me. Being a quarterback requires patience and being able to read the defense. If you throw the ball where the receiver is instead of where they will be, then that will likely lead to an interception. Quarterbacks don't get to make a lot of mistakes either. With that being said, it's hard to get voted QB when you aren't well known in the community like a content creator like myself, or have good stats or are global, things of that nature. So I recommend having friends with you when you want to play quarterback. I'll be showing clips of my different ways of throwing good passes, whether they be slants, dimes, or actually having to run the ball because your receivers aren't open. And trust me, it's very frustrating to have receivers that can't route or catch, as I have shorts videos about all bad wide receivers, which I'll link in the description. But the best tip I can give you at quarterback, at least for this video, is to aim ahead of your receiver. Like I mentioned earlier, aiming at the receiver means an interception 90% of the time, unless the defense is just horrible. 
At quarterback, learning the powers will take time and practice, and I highly recommend that you go to the QB gauntlet in the trade hub and practice there for a few minutes a day just to freshen up your skills. The final concept of ultimate football I'll be going over in this video is defense or cornerback. To be honest, being a defensive end or a rusher in ultimate football, or UF as it's commonly called, isn't that hard when you learn stamina control. Another concept I'll go over in a specific defense video if you guys get this video to 200 likes. Back to what I was saying. Being a rusher is really rewarding as you can't lose experience for your overall doing it like you can at cornerback. As a rusher, your job is to pressure the QB into bad throws or simply tackle him behind the line of scrimmage or sack him. Now, cornerback is a different story as even the tutorial in game says it's like the hardest concept in game. Playing cornerback requires the offense to make a mistake, whether it be a bad lob or slant, and you make that cornerback pay. The most underrated advice I can give to you on defense is if you are the corner on the outside receiver, do not let that receiver cut outside of you. Keep him inside because 99.9999999999% of the time, it leads to the offense getting a free completion, touchdown, or first down. And you also lose experience points towards your in-game overall if you let up passes in your area and letting up touchdowns gets your team to not like you. Trust me, it's not a good feeling and not knowing these little things can really mess you up in game. Being a cornerback requires a lot of practice. So I recommend just playing park or regular games with friends to work on your defense or just going to regular servers where you just don't care that much about your record and just practice on your own. As long as your guy doesn't catch the ball as much, you'll be fine. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And just a reminder that I am here to help. I didn't get content creator of the month for the month of July for nothing. Love you guys and feel free to re-watch any part of the video to help you with your journey to being the best player in ultimate football. Assuming you can be better than me, of course. And she wanna tell me she lonely. Hit on my phone for the one time, tell me I'm her one and only. She blew me a kiss when I'm in the trip, I'm pulling up dough. She making it known, fell in love, I let back get blown. I just story with the comfort now, so she gon' tell the globe, I score like goalies. Oh, damn.